Hello everyone, my name is Francisco Fonseca, also known as Francis.co. I'm an artist born in Paz Souza, a small village in Portugal, which is filled with a strong culture of myths, quirky houses and tiny roads that always has motivated me to create. Since I was a little kid, drawing was my favorite thing to do. I remember waking up at 5 in the morning just to grab my pencil and paper and start to draw till the sun will come up. What inspired me when I was younger remains the same nowadays. The simplicity of the constructions, the non-perfect roads that lead to nowhere, or the way you can imagine the past through the ruins and architecture of an old house. These are all moments that portrayed a village that wasn't thinking about creating beauty. But in my case, it created more than that. The organic and natural way how objects appear around us, which doesn't always make sense, really is the main inspiration of my artworks today. Even though I was already drawing for a lot of years, it was only during my study that I realized that drawing could be so much more than only a representation of reality. I figured out what a tool like drawing could create and how that tool could help me to represent what was always surrounding me that the eyes of a small kid couldn't see. The contrast between the city and the village was also an important factor to teach me how to look to things differently. Nowadays, every place that I visit or every spot that I skate boosts my creativity. All of those things that surround me are really important in my work. Even when they are not being directly represented, they are the main source of inspiration and the main fool to create something new. They are so organic and naturally shaped in my eyes that my main goal is to create the same beauty through my own art world. Even though it's almost impossible, it kept me motivated to try every day. Houses can be portrayed just like we portray a person. Just like a person, they change over time as well as their surroundings. But even with everything evolving around them, the fact of house standing still gives me the motivation to learn more about them. From the image of a house, you can imagine who lives there, what happened with the house, at what time it happened, or even in what environment it belonged. I don't feel the need to draw the person that lives there, because the house alone already represents something that we can associate with a certain character. And for me, the house itself has already its own character.